12-tone technique is a compositional method based on a tone row, which is an ordered arrangement of 12 different pitch classes chosen by the composer. As a piece progresses, the composer will use different transformations of this row to achieve coherence. The final movement of Webern's Opus 27 piano variations, for instance, is based on the following tone row. This first presentation of the row is referred to as the prime form. In order to identify the transformations of a tone row more easily, we can construct a matrix that organizes all possibilities for transposition, inversion, retrograde, and retrograde inversion. We do this as follows. 1. Transpose the prime form to begin on 0, and use it as the first row of your matrix. This is referred to as P0. 2. Invert this version of the row, and place it down the left side column from top to bottom. This is referred to as I0. 3. Fill in subsequent rows by transposing P0 to match the first integer of each row, as given by I0. If done correctly, all matrices will contain a diagonal of zeros from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. Reading any row backwards yields a retrograde, and reading any column backwards yields a retrograde inversion. All transformations are labeled according to the integer on which P and I begin. The transposition beginning on pitch class 4, for instance, is labeled P4, and the corresponding retrograde is labeled R4. Likewise, the inversion beginning on pitch class 8 is labeled I8, and the corresponding retrograde inversion is labeled RI8. If we return to the third movement of Webern's Opus 27, we can use the matrix to identify the exact transformation that characterizes any given presentation of the tone row. This passage, beginning on pitch class 3, for instance, is represented by I3.